What's up you guys? In this short but sweet tutorial, we're gonna find out why you spin out and how you can avoid it. And for that, we're gonna look at physics, your technique and the gear setup. So enjoy the video. A spin out is a common problem for free riders and free racers. And it's super annoying because you lose a lot of speed and you go way downwind and it's just not a fun experience. But before we ask ourselves why you spin out, we should ask ourselves why you don't spin out. And that's because of the fin, obviously. If you're curious how it looks like to go out on the water without a fin, you don't have to do that because I did that for you. Okay, I think you understood that the fin is quite important, but how does it actually keep you in place? So your fin works essentially just like a plane. Once you get some drive from your sail, water starts streaming around your fin and the fin basically slices the water in half, which then creates lift. And that works just like an airstream around the wings of a plane. Just imagine a plane flying sideways through the water and that's essentially your fin creating vertical lift. And for that reason, you feel pressure on your back foot. As we know, a plane needs a certain speed to take off. That is because the more speed the wing or the fin has, the more lift it will create. And you can actually feel that while sailing. If you put, for example, too much pressure on your back foot at a relatively low speed, you will spin out because your fin simply can't generate enough lift, AKA power yet. And that brings us to the first reason why you could be spinning out, your technique. Now that you know how the fin works, you'll easily understand that at low speeds, you can't put as much lateral pressure on your gear. So when you start planing, keep your back foot in front of your back strap until you reach a speed that allows the fin to create enough lift for you to put the foot into the back strap. So if you have spin out problems during that phase, you will possibly need to be much more upright and forward on the board. You could also have problems with spin outs at higher speeds, which is okay if it doesn't happen too often. Even I have spin outs sometimes. Let me tell you why. Spin outs at higher speed, for example, can happen if your board becomes too loose. So basically the trim of the nose is too high. So you get a lot of air under the board and especially in choppier conditions, all of a sudden your fin could come out of the water a little bit. That way you lose surface area of the fin in the water and the fin generates less lift. And that's part of the reason why you need to work a lot with your body, especially when it's choppy. Because as soon as you have less fin in the water, you need to release pressure just like you can see here. And along with that comes another common mistake. At higher speed, people often not only try to push the front of the board out of the water, but also the upwind rail. While especially some carbon fins are able to carry you like that, glass fiber fins are not so good at that. And in that position, the fin becomes extremely sensitive to any mistakes, which often result in spin outs. Apart from your technique, obviously the gear plays a big role when it comes to frequent spin outs. And with the gear, first and foremost, the fin. But before we talk about the fin, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel if you are interested in frequent windsurfing content, because that's what's going on here most of the time. And also, if you don't want to memorize this whole tutorial, make sure to check out the video description because I will put a link to my email newsletter in which I will bring out this tutorial as a PDF. So uh, make sure to check that out. And now let's talk about your fin. So really anything that disturbs a perfect water stream around the fin can cause problems. Some of you might already know the struggles with seaweed. Even just a bit of it can cause major spin outs. But even small damages or uneven surfaces can cause a hydrodynamic stall which ends up in a spin out. So make sure your fin is always in a good condition. Fins obviously come in a lot of different shapes, 
profiles, materials and sizes. And the thicker the profile of a fin is and the more of an area it has, the harder you have to push for the fin to spin out. As you guys know, I always preach that a fin size depends much more on the size of the board and the size of the tail of the board than it does on the sail. Because a wider board and especially a wider tail of the board allows you to put more leverage on the fin. And based on what you've learned so far in this tutorial, you can already guess where this is going. If the fin is too small for the width of your board and the width of the tail of your board, it's more likely that you will spin out. Next up, let's talk about your sail. We know that bigger sails create more pressure. Sometimes it creates so much pressure that the fin can't withstand it. One simple solution would be to move to a smaller sail when it's too windy or to use a bigger fin or bigger board when it's very light. But you can also adapt the trim of your sail because often when the pressure point is too far in the back of the sail and too low, that's when uh, spin outs happen more often. And some sail brands have the pressure point further in the front in the sail, some have it further in the back. But usually with all sails, what helps is to simply apply more outhaul because a lot of people that struggle with spin outs simply don't have enough outhaul and have a big belly in the sail. And if all of these things don't help, you can still blame it on the current, the gusty wind or me. On Instagram, I asked you guys to send me your spin out footage so I can review it, but it seems like all of you guys pretty much have the same problem, which is the board getting too loose and then losing surface area with a fin in the water. And yeah, that causing you to spin out. And this really is, you guys know it, a balance. I always say that everything in life is a balance and this is the same thing. So you want to get the board out as much as you can, but without losing surface area of the fin in the water. So yeah, get the board flying, but keep the fin in the water. And that is really my last advice here. As always guys, if you like this video and you feel like you learned something, make sure to leave a thumbs up after the video. And I have something special for you guys. If you stayed all the way until the end of this video, I am giving away a solar hoodie, the solar daylight, super cozy towel hoodies. You guys already know it. It's the brand that I launched recently, made from organic cotton and literally the best thing to wear after a session. So um, if you want to win it, all you need to do really is uh, leave a comment below and in the next video, in the video description, I will announce who won. Talking about the next video, it's something I'm really excited about and it's already coming in a couple of days. It's a collaboration and there's a little bit of an advertisement aspect to it, but I think it's a really good cause and I think you guys are gonna like it. So stay tuned for that and I would say I see you in the next video.